Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and do an unboxing of Samsung Portable SSD T1. Let's go do this baby. Hi guys, so I needed a portable hard disk on my trip to MWC this year since I'm going to be taking a ton of videos and photos and I wanted to get a portable SSD hard disk and I actually saw this little guy at CS 2016 and I actually found it on Amazon so I ordered it and I totally forgot this thing is a tiny sized uh, SSD portable hard disk which is really cool. I got the 500 gigabyte version, it's like 155 bucks. You can get the 250 gigabyte version for like around 80 bucks and also since this is an SSD SSD using USB 3.0. If you're doing video editing on Adobe Premiere, you're going to be able to use this drive as second scratch disk for your Adobe Premiere. So when you're editing, your editing will be faster. All right, there's two benefits to getting the SSD. It's super fast, it's super small, and also since it's an SSD, it's not going to corrupt your data as much as a regular portable hard disk. Anyway, let's go ahead and open it up. All right, here we go. Uh, it's in a box comes out like this and boom shakalaka uh look at that this is a really really tiny it is super light uh wow it is super super light hey we got some nice flares here too it's supposed to happen like that from the anamorphic that looks cool right okay let me give you a quick size comparison between uh, one of my old western digital portable hard disks this is also usb 3.0 this is a my passport this is SSD. Look at how small that is. Oh my god. You can literally carry like five of these uh, for the weight and size of one of these. You don't even need to put it in your bag. You can just put it in your pocket all the time, you know? Have it safe. You know, all your data in your pocket at all times. So this thing is, I think, awesome. I mean, this thing is so tiny, I have to use my close-up lens um, to give you a close-up. All right, I mean, it weighs like literally nothing. You got the social security number, sorry, social, ah, serial number. You have a USB 3.0 slot there. That's pretty much it. I mean, it is tiny. I feel like it's like a giant micro SD card. I mean, it is literally a giant micro SD card that is super fast. Samsung portable SSD, 500 gigabytes. I mean, 500 gigabytes of SSD at the tip of your fingertips. That is awesome. Let me also show you what's in the rest of the box. This is a bunch of manuals, a warranty statement. I don't really need to look at that. And there's a single USB 3.0 cable. So very nice rope style uh, cable here. Plug it in and plug it into your computer and boom. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into my MSI Ghost Pro GS60. I love this laptop, by the way. I recently switched to my laptop because my desktop was using so much power. Literally my electric bill went from a hundred bucks to like 400 bucks a month in the winter, mainly because I was editing videos all day and it was just using a ton of power. I switched back to my laptop and my electricity usage uh, cut down by almost uh, one fourth. Because this laptop at full throttle, you're maybe using like 150 watts max. My desktop using almost 400, 500 watts. So if you guys in the same boat and you work from home, you pay a lot in electricity, like here in California, you may wanna consider getting a powerful laptop instead. Because even the most powerful laptop, such as this one, will use fractions of your desktop. All right guys, I guess I gotta set up this. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this portable SSD setup. I think I have to actually format it before I use it. Next, all right, let me go ahead and uh, max SSD. All right, you can also enable data security. If you lose your password, T1 will be unusable and you will no longer be able to access your data. All right, so it will really protect your data, but you can also a factory reset using Samsung Service Center. I think I'm just gonna have a bunch of videos, so I actually don't really need the security. If you're downloading illegal files, um, that may be a good idea. Not that I'm telling you to download illegal files. I'm just saying, just as an example, all right? But I'm not gonna send anything because I don't really, I'm just gonna have my videos in there. All right, it's setting up my hard disk and that's it. Now I have uh, 465 gigabytes. Let's go ahead and test out how fast this is. Uh, hard SSD speed test. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and use SSD um, user benchmark. And let's go ahead and check out how fast this thing runs. 
Okay, I'm running benchmark. Um, so this site is called ssd.userbenchmark.com. It says speed test your SSD in less than a minute. That's pretty cool. Um, so it's actually testing all my SSDs here. So right here are the results. Um, it actually tested my whole computer, which is kind of funny. Processor 79.3%, graphics 8.06%. I'm not sure why it's saying that. 16 gigs of RAM. Okay, so uh, Samsung Portable SSD, 63.2%. Uh, read speed 404 megabits, megabytes per second. It doesn't say, oh, there we go. That's the average read and write. So read 427, write 380. So the specs are 500 megabytes per second, but in reality, I'm getting about uh, 404 megabytes per second. It is really fast. I mean, this drive is like already four times faster than my regular hard disk. Um, so pretty awesome stuff. This is gonna be a great way to uh, add extra hard disk on your uh, computer. Anyway, really cool piece of tech. A super portable hard disk uh, that doesn't need external power, SSD, USB 3.0. I wonder if you can use it with Android using OTG. Oh, let's try it real quick. Okay, right, it's quick test. I got my Note 5, moment of the truth. <laughs> I don't think it will support it. Bowie, come back in here. Sorry, my dog's barking. It's powering up. Blue light is on. Holy sh... It does work. <laughs> That's so awesome. Oh my God. So this is the coolest tech I've seen in a long time. If you need to add extra 500 gigabytes of SSD, you can do it with this. So definitely check it out. Very cool piece of tech. Highly recommend it. Price is not bad at all. 155 bucks for 500 gigabytes. I think 80 bucks for 250 gigabytes. Wow, I am I am definitely impressed. This is a really cool piece of tech. Anyway, definitely get this. I'll have the links to where you can get this on Amazon in the description. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me if you enjoyed this video. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, Instagram, Periscope, and as always, stay. <laughs>